So now we're looking at uh, the initial stages of installing the second pot. So the second pot is um, it, what it does. It monitors the angle of the main boom arm in relation to the main body. Cut a piece of plastic. I'm going to use a slotted headed screw to drive the pot around. I've made an insert and that will go inside where the main pin is, inside there. Then what we can do is to screw the screw in. I'll just do it temporary for now but once we get closer to the mark of fitting it all then this this will be thread locked right at this end. I've got that screwed in and it's flush at the top and uh, looking on the inside you can see the, the end of the screw there so it's got that uh, the whole of the screw length there to um, adjust but really it needs to be somewhere near horizontal um, but this has got to be fitted after the arm is installed into the bodywork but for now it will actually fit in there so with the arm installed we've got the screw thread or the screw head just protruding through and uh, you can see how that screw thread turns in relation to the body. Where I go from here now is to fit this bracket ready and then it's got a little cap on the top as well so if I take the cap off for a minute we'll have a look inside so that's it with the cap removed and the potentiometer would sit nicely in that housing with the cap over the top I've got the potentiometer in there, I haven't wired it up yet but uh, the plan is to go from there through the bodywork there which will feed it in to this little void underneath the switches and then away and re-emerge out where these purple wires are so there'll be a bunch of four of those coming out um, so that's it for now let's be revisiting further down the line once we've got the boom arm together and we're ready to install the boom arm um, then we'll come back and start running the wires away from there and then fitting the arm.